I'm Christopher Watovitz. I work for the City of Virginia Beach Public Works Engineering Department. I'm the project manager on the Lesnar Bridge replacement project. What we see behind us is the uh, uh, new Lesnar Bridge under construction. It's a $116 million project, total project cost. That includes the design, the utility relocation, and property acquisition, of course, the construction. Uh, the project schedule is about three years, so we are anticipating being complete with this project in uh, June of 2017. The equipment you see behind us, the yellow and blue equipment, is a gantry crane. Uh, this, uh, this type of equipment is used for these segmental box girder bridges. It ha a similar uh, structure was built, uh, the Jordan Bridge. Uh, so this gan a gantry was used at the Jordan Bridge. Of course, it was a little bit different than the one we have behind us. Um, there was also a bridge out in the uh, Route 460 connector project that outside of Hampton Roads, the western part of the state, and I'm sure there's others. Uh, but those are the two that come to mind as segmental box girder bridges. Uh, with this, this type of gantry, mm -hmm. what we do is we, uh, we deliver the, the precast concrete segments underneath the gantry. The gantry lifts those segments into place. Once they're in position, those segments are post-tensioned together. They're essentially glued and epoxied together. And then we run the, uh, the longitudinal tendons through those segments and we post-tension the whole span of the bridge together in one shot. Once we complete that span of the bridge, we move on to the next span. In this particular bridge, there are 10 spans. Okay, once we get the, the segments delivered to the gantry, which we're planning in about three to four weeks, we're gonna pr probably have about five months of continuous uh, segment placement until we complete the westbound bridge. If we complete the westbound bridge, there's enough width in that westbound bridge to handle all four lanes of traffic the two eastbound lanes and the two westbound lanes. We're also gonna provide a temporary four foot wide pedestrian path so we maintain pedestrian access across the Lynn Haven. Once we move all four lanes of traffic uh, to the new westbound bridge, which we're anticipating sometime around February of 2016, we're gonna demolish both existing bridges and build the eastbound bridge. And once we build the eastbound bridge, we'll move two of those four lanes of traffic back to the eastbound bridge and complete the 10 foot wide multi-use path on the westbound bridge. Right now we're about 11 days behind schedule. We, get, we granted the contractor uh, 11 weather days for the month of February this year. Our original completion date was June 2nd, 2017 and now it's June 13th, 2017. The overall construct, uh, the construction portion of this project, $79 million. Before the project was bid, there was an engineering estimate. That engineering estimate was about $66 million. It was high, so the construction costs are actually higher uh, than the engineering estimate, and primarily it's in the superstructure and substructure of the bridge, where there's a lot of concrete, a lot of steel. We've got approximately um, 4.2 million pounds of steel. We've got about 20,000 cubic yards of concrete. So any fluctuation in market prices on concrete and steel, which does fluctuate, really has an effect on, on the overall cost of the project. It takes approximately eight years to design and permit a new bridge. Uh, so you don't want to wait until the existing bridge is posted and you have weight reductions on that bridge. We have annual bridge inspections done on the existing Lesnar bridges. So far they're not posted, but we didn't want to wait until that time came. So we, had, we did a lot of advanced planning and it looks like our new bridge is going to come in just in time. All right, I think it is, it's interesting that the contractor building the, the new Lesnar Bridge is also the same contractor who built the eastbound bridge in 1957 and who built the, the westbound bridge in 1968. So it's the same contractor, which is, it just seems to be a coincidence, and it's also two of the cranes that were used in 1957 and 68 are also on this project. It's just that they've been retrofitted to be diesel instead of steam powered. McLean Contracting is the prime contractor. 